Hi there! Over the last weeks I got a lot of emails and requests to share more of my thought process while creating. So here's another video for you with some thoughts about composition. I find it very interesting to see what's possible with only a few random pieces of paper. And while playing with the collage material I constantly think about shapes, connections, differences and color values. My goal is to create a balanced composition. And I like to use a few details to guide the viewer through the collage from the focal point, the starting point, over other small places back to the focal point. So if you are interested in learning more about design and composition and collage, be sure to check out my upcoming five-week online workshop Exploring Collage. In this online course I will share with you what I have learned over the years and the way I use principles of design in my work. So it's getting easier for you to use those principles to create interesting compositions. We will start in less than two weeks and I hope to see you there. You will find more information on my website, the link is here on the screen. Okay, let's get started with this one. So here's another envelope with some collage material, let's see. A lot of paper strips with colors I don't use very often, that's quite challenging. The first thing, as always, I try to find a piece which I can use as my focal point for the collage composition. It should be strong enough to catch the viewer's eye. So the piece with the letters on looks a bit different to the light pinky pieces. I think this will work. This black piece brings in high uh, contrast to the background and together they create an interesting shape. And I will use it as my focal point. It's not this easy to bring the pinky stripes together so they look like one piece or they belong together. I change the edge a bit of this piece to bring in more variation. And with this silver grey tissue paper piece I try to connect the pink shape with the white background. It creates a kind of transition between both layers. And this little newspaper um, works like an anchor and it's a connection to the edge of the collage. So the composition don't float in the, um, in the white space and this little black piece brings in a bit more balance. A lot is going on on the right side so we need a little bit on the, on the left side too.
So let's start gluing. I use the mud gel medium. The paper is is quite thick, so the gel medium works well. For thinner paper, I like to use the Liquitex mud medium. It's more fluid. Okay, that's it. I hope you found some inspiration for your for your own collage project. Thanks for watching.